Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In my previous video, I showed you on how to export your Microsoft Access database to my SQL Workbench. So now, let us continue. Today, I will show you on how to create a link table between Microsoft Access to my SQL Workbench so that all your data, all your records will not be saved in Microsoft database file. However, it will be saved in my SQL Workbench. So, you will no longer be worried about the 2 gig capacity of Microsoft Access. This is our um, Microsoft Access database. Uh, this is the table, the box table we have exported. Uh, this is in my previous video. If you have not watched this video, kindly watch this first. And this is the MySQL workbench and this is the uh, data that we have exported from Microsoft Access. So now let us create a link table. How to do that? Let us go to this one menu, external data, and then in the ribbon, let us, uh, this is ribbon guys, let us click this new data source, and let us click from database. So now let us select the SQL server. So, import the source or link to the data. So, we will choose this one, link to the data source. Okay. And then, let us go to machine data source. In my previous video, we have created this one. If you have, uh, if you don't watch this video, kindly watch this on how to set up this. Box product. Let us choose that one. And, okay. So, this is it. The box let us select that one okay and here we go guys so we have the link tables book one box one let us select okay there are 25 records guys let us check there are also 25 records so let us try to Add record. Like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Let us add. Okay. That one. Like for example, that's the joke, guys. Okay. Okay, and let us select it, let me example this one, okay, and let us close, save, so now let us check, refresh, okay, it is handsome, so this is the data that we have inputted in Microsoft Access. Another example, guys. Uh, by the way, since we have already this one, the length table, we don't need this box table. So, we will delete this one. Okay. And this box form, uh, we have to edit the data source the record source the box one okay so now let us try to add record using this form okay and uh, like for example one okay publisher is and zero one zero one twenty twenty one okay and add again so now let us check those um those data that we have inputted let us click refresh Excel the programmer 
So, that's it guys. So now, you will no longer be worried about the 2 gig capacity of Microsoft Access. So tell your client, if they are confused about Microsoft Access, tell your client that you are using SQL Server. This is, the Microsoft Access is not standalone database. So that's enough for today's video guys. And I hope this video helps you a lot. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access and my SQL Workbench, my SQL Server, please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos. Once again, thank you and see you to my next video.